day and this is actually on 12 volts I might even try it on 24 but for now 12 will do so what I've done is I've disconnected it because we've got it's 54 degrees on the uh, heat sink of that it's holding itself out okay so I don't think we should curse it but let's just put it in see and we've got a spike I think the voltage it looks like that's 78 volts peak to peak wow okay and then I'll, I'll just bring the frequency up instead and you can see but it's quite capable of controlling the speed there we go that's full speed now So we can play around with this. And it seems quite happy. We 67. Right, I'll stop there. Um, because that's working. I don't know if I'll be able to actually drive the vehicle like that. But what, what we do have still is some instability here. I need to get that our stable working again. I don't know why it's not. <laughs> I've blown it. So if I actually get that our stable working again, then... <laughs> we probably got quite a simple system that doesn't involve a CPU uh, and I'm guessing that the A stable circuit will be more stable to be honest because it doesn't rely on the voltage I think the voltage is dropping so it's resetting the CPU and then we get things going wrong but that's a success this device now with it bridged across for the two we can actually use this yeah so it can handle it um, I was worried about the robustness of the device itself yeah, it's got 25 volts on the batteries. I was worried about the, the robustness and also uh, now I've got it working on a 12 volt battery system which is the most current because obviously it has to the power is the same so it has to increase the current to make it turn. If I actually put it onto 24 volts now I can now control it. Uh, I don't want it flying off the axle stands you see so but it's now controllable which is good so uh, we'll probably do that next and then we'll have 24 volts instead of 12 across that. This is a 600 volt device, so there's no problem with that. And if I can get it working on 24 volts, we'll probably find that it's far more uh, controllable because we're not pulsing current through at high rates. We can take a lower current and higher voltage. Yeah, and then eventually, obviously, four batteries. We're going to have to be very careful and very confident in that. But I think we'll make a contact before then so we can quickly switch it off before it breaks something. 55, it's cooling down, you can see. Anyway, we'll leave it.